That means the actual ease of which this spongy tissue can expand. So the tissue itself. What does it mean by my thorax? Isn't my thorax this cavity right here? This stuff with the bone and the muscle and the diaphragm? <sighs> the ability of that to expand. So that could be two different issues. Somebody could have breathing issues based on the fact that that thorax cannot expand, meaning that skeletal muscle, which could mean nerve damage, whatever the case might be. The ease of the lung tissue could mean something such as um, emphysema, uh, COPD, that sort of thing. Okay, so if somebody's got both, wow. That's a huge breathing issue that's present. So anything that will affect my airflow is going to be resistance. You're going to encounter that when you get into the field. Your chances of encountering a person with a breathing issue are high. All right. So <clears throat> we're going to have to have that ability to have something stimulate my breathing. Then, is there anything that's going to affect the movement of that air? So, when I finally do get movement of air, I have air move on my alveolar side. I have air move, let's go with gases. I have gases move on the alveolar side. I have gases move on the blood side. So if I look at my alveoli, that movement is termed alveolar ventilation. So what is going to be my volume of air that can move? Like I said, Many things can affect that. Numbers that you're going to see in your textbook are based on a normal, healthy male in their 20s. Okay? Other charts exist for other ages, other physical conditions, and so forth. Okay? When we look at my alveoli, they will actually affect the amount of air that will get to move because they have something called anatomical dead space in the anatomy of that grape, of that alveoli, in the structure that exists for all these tubes leading to those alveoli, when breathing occurs, when that exchange occurs, not all of my air that is currently in my system is at that point. I still have air that's up here in my nose. I still have it going down my trachea, through my pharynx, getting to my bronchi, getting to my bronchi before I get to the alveoli. A lot of anatomy still has air in it when exchange occurs. So they say that's dead space because that air is not moving. It's making its way to be moved, but I said earlier, I got to make sure air that gets to my alveoli for exchange needs to be 98.6. So as it's making its pathway, that's what the body's doing. The body is warming and moistening and conditioning that air. So, there will be an amount that stays behind in this conducting division made from all these anatomy parts, and that's not air that's currently moving. Then, 
once I get to the alveoli <clears throat> where I'm going to have exchange, my physiology, there's dead space. Meaning, when I take the amount from this area right here, plus anything that cannot exchange at the alveoli, for, exa for example, any resistance that's encountered, that will be considered physiological. Meaning that air is not exchanging either. And they have numbers for that. Take a break. We'll be back at 10.30.